lava from the 31st episode of the ongoing Kilauea volcano eruption arched across the summit caldera for over 12 hours on Friday before coming to an abrupt end early Saturday morning. Episode 31 featured a long inclined fountain. Lava burst from the north vent at a 45 degree angle, perhaps a result of the inner cone built during the precursory activity. Heights were measured up to 325 feet or 100 meters for most of the episode. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory say the fountain would have been over 500 feet high if it went straight up. Unlike many recent episodes, this event had a primary lava channel exclusively fed by molten spatter, rather than by lava upwelling from the north vent. The observatory says nearly 11 million cubic yards of lava, equal to 8.4 million cubic meters, were erupted at an average of 240 cubic yards per second, or 185 cubic meters per second. The flows covered more than 75% of the crater floor. The event was accompanied by thick volcanic gas and swirling tephra that at times obscured the lava fountain on USGS webcams. Although most of the lava was erupted from the north vent, there were low spatter fountains observed at the south vent. And by Friday evening, a new intermediate vent opened up in the area of glowing cracks between the north and south vents. These fountains reach heights up to 100 feet or 20 to 30 meters. The summit tiltmeter recorded about 22 microradians of deflationary tilt during this episode. When it ended, deformation changed from deflation to inflation and seismic tremor decreased. No changes have been detected in the east or southwest rift zones, and the USGS volcano alert level for Kilauea remains at watch. All current and recent activity is occurring within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park.